Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to do a second upload today talking about when to buy your teams because again, this market right now is down so bad and it is very dead and I think there's a couple of factors that contribute to that but I want to talk about if you have not bought any cards, I think last night and today are going to be probably the lowest days, especially if we don't get any big content this week. So I want to talk about that, why the market is so low and how it's different than last year. I know we've been looking at graphs from last year. We'll look at a couple of them today, but I want to explain the differences because we've seen the drop of the market drop off so much already since team of the season has been announced. There's a lot of coins still on this game. There is. There's a lot of coins and there's a lot of people that still want to play FIFA as well. Even though right now with the European Super League, I think the hype for football is, is dying, dying down a little bit. At least it's lulled in the moment because people are upset with what's going on with that. And I think that's bleeding over into FIFA. But I honestly think that that hype is going to come roaring back later this week with Team of the Season. Because that stuff should go unchanged. I don't really see that stuff changing uh, because this is nothing to do. Like this stuff in FIFA doesn't have really anything to do right now. Um, with the whole European Super League. So that's my opinion on that. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Of course, the whole situation is a mess, but we're here to focus today on this game because right now what I'm seeing with the market is nobody wants to buy. Literally nobody wants to spend coins on cards for their team. They're waiting for later on this week for team of the season must be the thing. I bought this Usman at 230K last night and he is down to 210. He's down to 210. There's an undercut at 204. That's what you're seeing on the market right now. Nobody is on this game. Nobody wants to buy cards because number one, they're waiting for team of the season. There's not a lot to do in FIFA right now. And number two, I think people are even stepping away from the game because they are just, they're not happy with the way football, the decisions that have been made in the real world of football in the last 24 hours. They don't want to be a part of that. And a lot of people will continue their passion for real life football on FIFA. And so people probably have less of a desire and motivation to play FIFA right now, which is in turn, anybody who's on the market listing their cards uh, is probably making them go lower in price, which is pretty nuts. Uh, and as you see these low prices, I bought a best last night at 1.3. This one expired at 1.283. It's crazy. This Allen St. Maximum expiring at 240,000 coins. I sold one at 280, literally 12 hours ago. So you're just seeing this morning how there's not anybody on this game who wants to buy. But I'd still know there's a lot of hype for Team of the Season that is building, right? This Friday, this Saturday, when we have the new Team of the Season cards out, even earlier than that, as we get close into Team of the Season with rewards coming this Friday, you're going to see some stuff pick up on the market, I think. I think that hype is going to start to return as we do get the beginning of Tots. So that's why I'm still saying I think last night and today is going to be the lowest. Of course, I'm uploading this right before 6 p.m. content on a Monday. So there's potential that... We could get another Icon SBC today, but I honestly don't know how much more prices could go down because how many more people in FIFA have stuff in their clubs right now? So as long as we don't get any crazy content in the next two or three days, I really feel like if nothing happens today or tomorrow on this game, you're going to start to see prices pick up from the bin because stuff just really can't go too much lower in my opinion because it's dropped off so much. Now, I talked about last year, right? Let me show you a couple of graphs from last year. I see people showing graphs from FIFA 20 and kind of comparing things. And yes, there may be some similarities between what's going to happen during the actual Prem team of the season and, and later on. Because um, as always, during the actual month of team of the season, we have all these new cards that are coming out every single week. All these new squads of team of the season players that people then replace other special cards in their club with because these are the best cards we see all year. Um, so we have a lot of prices drop actually during team of the season and out afterwards, but beforehand right now, people are saying that we had drops like this last year. We did not have drops like this last year at all. Look at how much Vinicius Jr. dropped. He went from 540k down to 420k. He went down 100,000 coins. That's it. That is it. You have guys like Full Birthday Adama who have gone from 1.6 mil to 587k. This guy has dropped over a million coins in two weeks. In two weeks, the panic selling this year has been ridiculous. It's been ridiculous. Now, last year, of course, what you saw was right before a community team of the season, you did see the market pick up a little bit. This card, of course, you could have got for the low 400s during the panic selling, and then you could have sold it for 450. And you might have been able to been buy it to buy it during the week at like 410k, and then sell it at 450, 460 uh, on the, the Friday and Saturday of that community team of the season. And then you saw a little bit more of a sell-off, and then a peak 
during Prem Tots, and then stuff went down after that. I'm looking at Tamori as well. Um, you guys remember this card last year, a very hyped up OP center back, 500K down to 400, right? Drops 130,000 coins, that's it. Rises up to 450K on the weekend, drops back down to 384. And then of course, Premier League links absolutely boomed, especially last year with the, the team of the season. And we'll talk about this as we come up to the squads is and later on this week, is that if you're picking specific investments that could rise when these teams get released, you wanna look for the positions and the um, stat players, like the kind of players on the pitch that people need for their FIFA teams, like whether it's midfielders, whether it's defenders or attackers, this team last year had a ton of attackers. We had two right wings, we had like five strikers, and we only had two center backs. We had Van Dyke and Soyuncu were the only two center backs that were in the team and one left back. So you saw a lot of center backs like this Tomori go absolute, absolutely bonkers because there were no team of the season cards people could use to link their new TOTS cards together except for Van Dyke and Soyuncu. So you saw a lot of those English links rise. So we'll talk about that stuff later on in the week. And if you wanna start particularly investing in that kind of stuff, you can. I, I think that there's some cards that could be in community team this season this year, like in Dombele, like um, Valverde. People are buying Eden Hazard's uh, Road to the Final card because they're tr they're thinking that Valverde is gonna get a card and they wanna link him. So there's some speculative buys that you could play around with in, in that scenario. How much is Hazard right now? Hazard is 500 and... Wow, he's up from last night. So he was about 520K last night. He's up about 20,000 coins. I think there's a little bit of hype there again with those links to Valverde. But again, just looking at prices that we see right now on this game, I really feel like it's dried up so much. The market has dried up so much that on these out-of-packs meta specials, I mean, you see some cards already rebounding back. This Sterling was 720K again yesterday. He's up 100,000 coins. Just a super-duper rare meta card links to the Aguero that just came out and stuff like that. Lucas was down at like 450, I think. He's back up to 480. So you see some cards that are fluctuating back a little bit. Um, but the longer that we go with the market just being this quiet and this dead, I really do think you're going to start to see prices rise back. So I seriously think that if it's any out-of-pack special cards, especially if they are meta, of course, look at your specific card because all these cards are going to have different movements. They're going to have different swings in price depending on how rare they are, how well they link to other players, and how meta they are. But I really think that a lot of this stuff is at its low or nearing its low today and I would just hate to see some of this market pick back up because I really feel like the, the market is going to return in this week. I really feel like you're going to see the hype can come back to this market. People are going to buy players again with team of the season coming out. They're going to try out the new ones, buy players for weekend league because of course they need to get those rewards. Um, but again, at the graph that I showed you with this Vinicius Jr. and the Tamori, you saw two consistent themes here. Price is dropping during team of the season because think about it right every single week during team of the season you have a new squad coming out now of course we don't know how the squads are going to look this year if it's only going to be 11 players or if they're going to do a bench as well but all these new players are coming out every single week so people are going to be selling cards to uh you know replace the cards they had on the team with these brand new insane boosted statistics team of the season cards and i want to show you one thing too because last year we had a Juan Bissaka team of the season right Premier League right back, really good looking card. We also had this Trent Alexander-Arnold that was in team of the year. This is one of the points that best shows how the market last year is not like this year and how this year the market has dropped so much more already than it did last year. Take a look at this graph, right? Take a look at this graph. Alexander-Arnold on the big drop in early April when the loading sc screen came out, this card was 1.1 million coins on the PlayStation. He dropped all the way down to 928, right? So a pretty solid drop off right there. Held his price until team of the season Premier League came out on Friday, May 1st. This card goes from 975,000 coins to a week later being 400K. Why is that? That is because we had two right backs come out during team of the season, Juan Bisaka and Trent Alexander-Arnold, both English right backs. This card was almost the exact same as the team of the year. There was like literally no stat differences. There was a plus one passing and a minus one defense um, off the team of the year. And look how much this card was when he first came out into packs, 500K. That is literally half of what this exact same card team of the year version was. And this is one thing last year that really told us that the market had not dropped off enough because these team of the season cards that come out, I do think that team of the seasons could be more expensive this year than they have been in past years because there's so many coins in the game this year. If you've seen the high tier market, all that stuff is way more expensive than it has ever been. But relatively speaking, these team of the season cards are a lot cheaper than the rest of the game. This Wambasaka comes out first day, 400,000 coins. 
boom. You know, uh, you have other right backs. Like we just looked at Reese James. He is how much in this game? Like 310,000 coins. You know, I do think that team of the season cards could be a little bit more expensive this year, but the amount of the price drops you've seen already, you've already seen Trent Alexander-Arnold in this FIFA. If I just go to Generations and look at his FIFA 21 card, you've already seen his price drop off from 800K in the past week down to 550,000 coins from where he was at 1.1 million. He's not as OP this year given this card in the game. Uh, but still, it just goes to show how much more of a drop-off we've had already this year, and I think that makes us primed for a decent comeback later on this week. So again, I'm really going to be shouting it, and if EA drops something crazy, and if this market goes down even further, I'll be surprised. Um, but I, I really, really, really do feel like that this game right now, the Super League is influencing it because people are not happy with football, and there's not a lot going on this week. So with, with nothing else going on and people having coins in the top left, I really feel like you're going to see this panic selling start to subside and cards are going to rebound back a little bit. So that's kind of just what I'm feeling with this stuff on the game right now in terms of the prices. Um, now, looking through some of these special cards and special teams, let's talk about sell times too, right? We mentioned how a lot of the prices um, continue to drop lower. Let me go back to Vinicius. Continue to drop lower over the team of the season time period. Now, if you guys are wanting to buy a team right now, I don't think that you're wanting to buy a team and hold it for a month or two months. You're probably going to want to hold this team and then sell it in a couple of weeks around that Premier League team of the season time frame because, yes, the market, I think, will rise back up a decent amount till then. But just like we see every year, more and more cards are going to get released with every single team of the season squad that they put out. And I think uh, unless they format it differently this year or do something absolutely ridiculous, I really feel like uh, that you're going to see the market still drop down after that Premier League team of the season time period as we get more and more of the leagues released on the game. And if you do want to buy a team, maybe if it's for this weekend, and then you, of course, want to sell that team uh, or sell it in the next week or so, because I do think that some of the out-of-pack specials could rebound nicely and then drop back off again because the team of the season card hype is going to replace the hype for these older cards for sure. So of course you look at every single week, the league that is out, so like during the Premier League week, that's why you saw Tamori go up so much last year. I think like Shapeshifter Kante was one that went up banana as well, bananas as well, because he didn't get a team of the season card and he uh, had a center back position change. So of course these foot birthday cards like this Adama, I think this is one that's gonna do bits um, out of packs. Of course, Sterling is so rare. I think this card is still really juiced in the game, right? This card is very, very hyped up. He's a very good card in this game. I would not be surprised if maybe even next week during Prem Tots, this card goes back up 100K. I, I could see it, right? I really, really, really could see it. I know that it seems crazy right now with the market being this quiet and this dead, um, but I think that's just with the circumstances of what is going on with everybody just waiting for this game to come out. So many people have sold their cards. They've panic sold, and there's such a... Um, how do I say this? There's, there's such like a desire this year for people to get the brand new and the best cards in this game. And that's why I, I made the point earlier that I think team of the seasons are going to be more expensive this year because you've seen icons be more expensive than ever this year and other special cards when they've come out. I mean, this guy was 1.8 million coins when he first came out in the game. And these cards, these foot birthday cards have the weak foot and skill move boosts that other cards in this game probably won't have. Now they upgraded some uh, weak foot and skills last year during team of the season, but it wasn't like four star to five star. It was like two to three. So I don't really expect that to, to hinder the foot birthday cards at all. But yeah, that's how I'm feeling about this market right now, boys. I really still feel strongly that it's going to pick back up. I know it seems down bad right now, but the percentage points that we have had, had seen in this drop off have been ridiculous. Now, even for gold cards, right? I think this Mbappe, I think he's going to rise back up. He was 290 last night, man. I had to buy one. This guy was 290,000 coins. He's back up over 300K. Uh, I think people were realizing that this was too cheap as well, and they started to buy it back. But again, you don't have as many buyers today, and that's why I think you're still seeing these crazy low prices that are on the game. I bought two Zidans at 1.05. He went up to 1.1 last night, and right now he's chilling. So I'm Probably going to take the risk on the stuff that I have and, and hold it throughout the rest of this week and um, just hope that the market continues to rise. Now, I was able to flip this Varan, bought that at 400K, so I'm making a little bit of coins here or there, but a lot of this stuff is is just really kind of dead feeling uh, on, on the game, and it's just <laughs> it's just sitting, right? It does not feel like there's a lot of hype. So we'll see if that changes later on this week with rewards. 
and with team of the season coming, which I do think that it will. But I wanted to make this video again specifically today because um, I haven't really talked about like a specific buy time. I know I talked about yesterday being a good time to buy, but even today, some prices went up yesterday and it's really hard to time it. But I think predominantly for most things on this market, stuff that has not bounced back already, if you have not bought yet, which I'm hoping you haven't because this stuff is super duper cheap, uh, you're looking at good opportunities to make some coins and see players' prices rise later on this week unless EA do something crazy. So that is the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.